A day after seizing power in an army-backed coup and Burundi's new leader told foreign powers not to get involved. At his first press conference, self-declared president Pierre Bouyoya said ethnic conflict wouldn't be resolved by foreign intervention. He claimed the coup was needed to stop ethnic bloodshed between the Hutus and Tutsis. At least 150,000 lives have been lost in the past three years. But on the streets of the capital on Friday, life seemed to have returned to normal, with people going about their business. Soldiers had removed roadblocks in Vigil Bora and lifted the curfew to close shops and kept civilians at home. Stores were open and traffic flowing. The situation is very fluid. This, this is just taking place yesterday and uh, the airport is still closed and there's calm in the streets now. The international community has condemned the coup, fearing another Rwanda. The UN and the US have called on Burundi's military leaders to resolve the crisis peacefully. But Western leaders have said nothing about sending in troops to restore deposed leader Silvestre Enti Bantunganya, who took refuge at the US ambassador's residence in the capital last Tuesday and is still there.